Hello, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about top tips for success in your microgreen business. You may know how to grow your trays, grow your crops, how to do everything like that, but there's a lot more to business than this that. So we're going to get in some top tips for your success in your microgreen business. So let's start with number one. So number one is know your market. Uh, so your market research, you're going to need that. Uh, identifying your niche. So what are you going to go after? What's your niche? Is it restaurants, grocery stores, home deliveries? What niche is that? Uh, to know your battlefield, you got to know it. What battle you're growing, what battle you're fighting to be able to know where you need to be. So it's all about your market research. So you got to research your market. What can your market handle? Um, is there a lot of restaurants, high-end restaurants there? Uh, is there a lot of uh, vegans in the area? Uh, stuff like that. You know, um, grocery stores, are, are they interested in microgreens? Stuff like that, understanding your market and then identifying your niche and focus on that. Definitely in the beginning, you want to focus on one niche and go after that. You don't want to spread yourself so thin that you don't know which direction you're going. So focus on one niche at the beginning. So if you're just starting, focus on restaurants or focus on home deliveries or focus on grocery stores or focus on farmers markets, whatever that is, stay focused on that. So that way you can drive that and really go after it. Um, so that's definitely what you want to do in that. So finding your niche market, that's 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 right there. That's what we're going to do there. Um, step number two, effective cost management here. So budgeting, fun word, budgeting, right? Uh, so you got to budget what you're going to do and what you're going to do. So uh, you got to have a roadmap on your budget uh, for your budgeting there. So you got to budget your money. So how much you're spending in the beginning? Uh, to start this business. How much is it going to cost you? Do you know that number? If you know that number, put it in the chat. How much do you need to start a microgreen business? Uh, that's a big one. A lot of people don't even know that when they're starting out. So know your numbers, know what it's going to cost you there. Find some cost-saving strategies. When we first started, we found racks out of a subway that closed down. And that's what we grew on. They weren't four feet wide. They were 42 inches wide. It's a little short. So they only fit three trays unless you turn them sideways weird. You get four on there. But whatever, start small. They cost $50 each for them racks, you know, a third of the cost roughly. Have them racks, lights didn't fit on them, whatever. But, you know, it was cost savings there. Uh, we didn't skimp on the trays. We did get high quality trays from Bootstrap Farmer for sure. So I do recommend, you know, that's something that's just going to last you forever or near two plus years at least minimum. That's what they guarantee. So uh, you want to do that. Lights, you want to get good quality lights. But the rack, it's not that big a deal. You can build your own rack, you know, if you need to. Uh, out of you know some wood pallets or something like that it's not ideal it's not what you want to stay with but if you need that to get started definitely something you can do so cost saving measures you can do um, so that's definitely what you do speed spend time smart and grow smart you don't want to spend so much money that it kills your business i see that all the time people go out and spend a ton of money we bought stuff from people because they've closed down um, they spent so much money on tray, too many trays, too many seeds, too many everything. Then thought they were going to be a million dollar business in three months. Well, that's not it. That doesn't happen. So make sure you are budgeting your money as you go along and turning your money back into your business. So quality control, uh, product consistency. So you definitely want to make sure you have high quality products all the time. So high quality products. You want to, that's what's going to keep your customers come back. Uh, if you grow crappy products, people aren't going to buy it. And if you're delivering them wet and they're lasting two days, they're not going to keep buying. Uh, if you grow high quality products, as we do, we keep on getting people to come back more and more all the time, ordering more stuff. Grocery stores keep going up, all that stuff. So definitely keep that in mind, high quality products as we teach in our course how to do that. So you want to do that. High quality products, maintain your quality, ensure your product consistency is always there. Don't fell on that. That is what's going to work for you. Consistency is key. Just keep doing the same thing once you find how to do that over and over, and we can teach you how to do that. All right. Blowing through this. So marketing and customer relationships. This is probably one of the biggest things. Uh, all businesses is marketing. Uh, every business is going to be marketing, guys. Um, no matter what you're doing, whatever widget you're selling, whatever you're selling, marketing is going to be the key. If you cannot market your products, you're not going to grow. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows where you're at. 
they're not going to find you. They're not going to buy anything from you. So you've got to market it. Uh, we have a whole marketing breakout in our course on um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all the stuff, how to get customers and everything like that. So we have that all in there, which if you want to know, we have a special price right now for our course. And you can get in for 197 197 So you can send me an email at MG and put in an MG197 in the subject line. MG197. And you can get in for 197 That is going to give you two one-on-ones with me and Jessica. She's always there on the one-on-ones as well. So double power team. Uh, you get our whole course for free for a month. You get uh, Zoom calls weekly, group Zoom calls weekly. You're going to get four of them. You'll be in there for a month. So you're going to be good there. Um, a free T-shirt and some other good things. Jess will put in the chat there everything that you would get with that. Uh, so that's 197 All you got to do, special time offer. It only lasts till the end of January. MG197. Okay? All right. So you have to have effective marketing strategies, uh, which we, we teach in there on how to get, if you're going after restaurants, Instagram is key. You want to use Instagram for them, uh, most likely. That's where we find all our restaurants. Um, if you're going after grocery stores, that's going in talking to people. Um, customer engagement and feedback, huge. When somebody replies to you, reply back fast. Uh, when you get a good comment, make sure you expand on that and put that on there. Ask for feedback from your customers. What do they like, what they don't like? You want to get custom, custom, constant feedback from your customers uh, and know if you're doing good or bad. And if you're doing bad, you can fix it. If you're doing good, keep doing it. Keep going. Um, you got to have effective marketing strategy to get, grow any business. Uh, this is probably the biggest part of growing a business right here is number four, how you can effectively market your, relation, market your uh, business and keep good customer relations. We have great relationships with all of our chefs, all of our produce managers at the grocery stores great relationships with them. Customers, a lot of our custom home deliveries that we kept, we don't do home deliveries, any new ones. We just keep our customers and uh, that we've had, and we've had great relationship with them. All of them has been with us for over two years. So that, that means you have good customer relationships. So that's where you want to be at. All right, well, let's talk about number five, scalability and growth. Uh, so you got all this down, you got the four top ones down. Now you want to grow your business. So this is where, you know, we were at at one point, six months in, this is where we need, really needed to scale up uh, and plan for that growth. Uh, so what is your plan for growth? And you need to think about that in the very beginning of your business. I and mean, wherever you're at in business, you should always be reevaluating these this step all the time uh, for your plan for growth. So where are you going to grow at? Ours has changed. Our road changed. We went wag and went to a different road. Uh, but start on the road and go that direction. You know, if you want to keep, you want to go that direction. So. Uh, and then you can change. Like we, we were going after restaurants and home deliveries and farmers markets. Or uh, six months in, we kind of changed and we went to grocery stores. And now that's 85% of our business. So uh, that's that's our growth plan, you know, getting more and more grocery stores as we go along. So um, plan for growth. Um, make a plan. If you have no plan, you plan to fail. So plan. Uh, overcoming common growth challenges. This is where you need a coach. You need somebody in there in your corner that's been through it, has done it, and can lead you through these things faster than you can do on your own. Uh, learn from whatever somebody else has gone through, and they can get you there faster. So definitely uh, overcoming common growth challenges. We can definitely get into that a little bit. We can answer any questions you might have. Uh, but that is a key thing to overcome. Um, there's always going to be hiccups in businesses. No matter how successful you are, you're going to have hiccups in business. And everybody that I know that's successful in any business has a mentor, has a coach, has multiples of them. You never know what you're going to need and when you're going to need them. So definitely have somebody in your corner for you. They can help problem solve for you and, and get that map corrected and get you going the right direction because they've always already been down that road. So and, and dream big. Don't It doesn't hesitate to dream big, man. I have big, big dreams for this business. And what we're going to do. So dream big. Uh, but then you can have a goal to get there. Uh, but plan smart with that dreaming big. So definitely do that. Um, so these are the top five things to do. Tips for success with microgreens. Obviously, we go in a lot more detailed later in the course, down in the course and everything else. If you guys get part of that, we do all that in there and we go really, really deep. Um, so yeah, 
We can talk about what you can get for 197 now. If we can go ahead and bring that screen up. Go over that again. So this only ends in January. We have had quite a few people ask about it. Uh, I've only had one sign up so far, so there's plenty of room for you. Uh, but get in now because uh, it will close. So you get them two one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, which are valued at $100 each. So that's $200 in values. A full The full course for one month, $97 value. And then, hard to read. Uh, and get included in the weekly group sessions, which them are great. Them group sessions are great because you got multiple people in there talking and asking questions and everything else. So them, them things are great. Um, and then I accessed all our resource sheets. Uh, then you get day one. So uh, that's over a $650 value. That alone you should get this course uh, for $197. You should buy this now. Uh, but this is going to end as soon as we get all the people we're gonna, we want to get, uh, which is, you know, we're looking for around five. So uh, you want to get it now. Uh, all right. Um, thanks for joining us today, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get in probably to do a little Q&A if we got any questions here. So uh, we can go ahead and bring them up. If we have any. Uh, what's an average order size on week on average on on our invoices? Um, I'll let you know what we average a week uh, on products. We uh, we sell over 1,200 packages uh, of products every week. That does not include home deliveries, restaurants. Uh, that is just uh, to grocery stores. Uh, so that's what we do there. Any other questions? Uh, for restaurants specifically, um, we have restaurants that we have one restaurant that's like fifty dollars. That's a very low end one, but it's right across. I mean, it's basically right across the street from our location, so no big deal there. But the most of them are around three, four hundred dollars. Uh, we're getting. Uh, but some of them we started out. Most of them we started out around a hundred dollars, and we built upon that as we went along. So you know, you get. Get in the door, get your hundred dollars, whatever they want to get, and then you slowly build over time and build that up. And now we're averaging over three hundred dollars on all of them. So, as a former chef and current gardener in Chicago area, what's your life and health department regulations involved in selling to restaurant industry? Uh, Chicago is a very unique area. If you're grown in a home place, uh, from my understanding. If you're growing at a home location, I don't think you can sell directly to like restaurants and grocery stores unless you get certified. But I think they require you to be in a commercial facility. But I definitely would call your local um, ag department, your health department in that area and make sure that what I've heard from other people, that is what uh, you have to have. You have to have a commercial facility to be able to sell microgreens in that area. And there's a resource for you that Jess has put in there. So you can check that out uh, for that. You're welcome. Glad to help. And again, these are things we definitely can take care of in our course and everything else. So if you guys want to check that out. All right, just wanted to get on here quick and do a little teaching. And uh, I know it's a Friday night, so but just want to do a little bit of teaching here. Um, Again, you can check us out at microgreens, microgreensbusinesscoaching.com. Email me, mike at microgreensbusinesscoaching.com if you have any questions or if you want to get in for this 197 deal. Uh, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.